Hello friends, this is Gail from Butterflies and Tulips. I am coming to you today with a video on a new hobby that I'm getting anxious to start. I have ordered several diamond painting prints or canvases and they have not arrived yet. So I'm getting really anxious for them to come. But anyway, I wanted to show you some of the supplies that I have received to help me in this um, to organize the the diamonds and and all that stuff. I've watched a ton of videos on YouTube in the last few weeks and gotten some good ideas. And when I saw these cases with the um, kind of like a pill bottle, they have a screw top lid and they hold quite a lot of the diamonds and they're great for organizing or kitting up as they call it all your um, colored beads before you get started so that when you're doing the um, painting you look at the symbol and it tells you which color or which tube to use um, which diamond to use and I've seen people that use the numbers like this called 60 so 1 to 60 and then on the painting itself there's a symbol and it says one, and then whatever the symbol is that's on the canvas. It's a lot like cross-stitching. Um, it's the same concept, except for the pattern is printed right on the canvas for you. So you don't have to count squares like you do with um, cross-stitch. I used to cross-stitch 20-some years ago. I enjoyed it. I did complete a lot of canvases, but I got really tired of it. And it wasn't something I could just pick up and put down because of all the counting involved, and I just kind of gave up on the hobby. Well, anyway, a friend of mine told me she was doing diamond painting, and I didn't even know what it was, so I looked up on YouTube and went, oh, I'm gonna like this. So, anyway, I ordered this, this kit. Um, they have these boxes, and it zips shut. And the cool thing is, is that this one has all butterflies on it. I got it on Amazon. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm a complete butterfly fanatic, as well as the color purple. So I did get this. You can get the same kind of case in like all purple, or all black with the purple um, highlights and things. But this one that I got actually came with a lot of tools. All these tools in here came with the kit. So I wanted to show you what I all came with this besides these 60 bottles. And I just started numbering them. I had these Avery Circle, um, they're removable stickers. So I just thought, well, I'm going to try, try these and they do fit because I want to be able to maybe put the symbol on there and then replace them the next time with the other kit that I'm doing or whatever. So I do have numbers 1 through 60 already written up. And I will just put those all on these containers. Well, anyway, so what all came with it is, first of all, a really cool pen. These are called diamond painting pens. There is no end in it at this point. Uh, usually you put a single placer on one end and a multi-placer on the other. And those came with it um, right here. There's the single placer, which usually has like a brass tip. And then this also came with like a two and maybe four, six, and nine, I think, placers. So that's really cool. They are quite thin, which I have heard is one of the better kinds of multi placers to use, is the ones that are thin. So that's interesting. Anyway, I this pen, this cool pen came with it, and it is purple and multicolored. Okay, the next thing that came with it is a funnel. And this is nice because it does fold up, but you can open it up. I did not do yet, but I can do that. So when you're um, tearing out or hitting up your Kit and taking all the beads out of the packaging, you can help yourself by not spilling them all over. 
by using a funnel. And this one just, you just set it in the top of the um, container and pour your beads up here and they'll go right inside. The nice thing is, is that it folds back up so it's easy to take with you. Um, so that's cool. The next thing that came with it is these sticky pads. Um, I've heard these are great to help hold, like if you're working on a um, slanted surface, which I plan, I have a lap desk coming that is um, slants. These are great because you can stick them on there and help hold your hold your pen and whatnot. And they're and they're just like the ones you use for your cell phone in your car or something. They're just uh, st they don't leave any residue behind. They're sticky, but they're not um, residue sticky. <laughs> if that makes sense. They don't leave any gunk. So they this came with four of these: yellow, green, purple, and black. It looks like. So that's really cool. It did come with stickers for the bottles. I don't know if they're removable or not, but there's enough for at least a couple times. This is very cool. Um, you use something called wax when you um, that you dip your pen in, and that is what makes the diamond stick to your pen. And then when you place it on the canvas, the canvas is already adhesive, and it just takes it off there and sticks to the canvas. This is a um, little container, and I'm one-handed here, hold on, that helps the, yeah, helps your, um, sorry, I'm, I wasn't ready for this, but this is, uh, you can open that up and store your wax in there so that it doesn't dry out as fast. So that's really cool that it came with it. Um, it also came with, this kit tray, or kit, I'm, oh, sorry. This kit, um, every painting comes with enough tools, they call it a tool kit, that will um, let you be able to do your painting. But this is just some extra. So, um, they all come with like a smaller tray like this, and it could be green, like this one is pink, whatever color, but the ridges in here, when you pour your diamonds in and shake them, they kind of um, lay along this so that when you pick them up, you can place them on your canvas. And that is especially helpful when you're going to do multi-placing. But anyway, this kit came with, um, this uh, zipper case came with this kit that you with your paintings anyway. So look at all this, you got all these single pens. There's, and they all have a different multi-placer on them. So two, and so that's really cool. And there's also a tweezers. Sometimes you need a tweezers to help you pick up or remove a diamond that you maybe put in the wrong spot. Some people also use the tweezers when they diamond paint. I don't, per I don't anticipate that that's going to happen for me, but we will see. Um, it also came with some of these zip bags, which are great for um, storing your beads after you're finished with your kit, um, because these beads are all numbered with the DMC number, which is the same colors as the floss from Embroidery Floss. So you can use the same DMC chart to see if you've got a color. So say you're working on another painting and you're short a couple of diamonds in a black. You can go and look and see, oh, black is such and such a number and I have some extras from another kit. So these little bags are great for that and I do plan to keep those for, um, you know, future, keep my leftover beads for future kits. But also I bought these at um, Michael's and they were like there's like 50 in a bag for I want to say three dollars or less so I did order or I did pick those up when I was in the store and the bags are just the size and probably very similar to the size of the beads that, or the bags that did come with this kit 
All right, moving on. There's some some wax. Um, this is purple. Usually the kits come with a wax that's pink colored. Doesn't really matter. Um, it came with the little tray here. Oh, a couple of them. And I have also heard that if you if you get beads that are sometimes stuck together, you can just pour them into one of these trays, put the other one on top of it, and just press down, and they'll that motion will um, separate them. So um, it's nice to have more than one boat. They're called a boat. Um, then it came with all these nice um, pen grips, pencil grip things, so that you don't, if you're using this small, oops, sorry. If you're using this small pen, for example, and all of the kits come with one, it's usually pink, but you can put this pencil grip on here, and I'm trying to do this on camera, so I'm sorry. And that way your finger doesn't get quite as sore and it's just a little chubbier to hold on to. So it came with four pencil grips and it also came with a larger boat. And that are two, no, just one. So if you're gonna be working on a larger painting, you're gonna want a larger amount of this. And also I've I've watched a lot of videos where people are kidding up, as they call it. And when you put your your um, tray in here, you know, have the lid off to pour your beads into it, it's a good idea to have it on top of here because then when you're pouring, if you spill any of them, they're gonna go here that you can pick up and pour back into your um, little bottle rather than all over the place. <laughs> so that's a great idea. Um, this one has a little pouring notch on the end, it looks like. So when you're shaking it, all the beads will stay in the tray. And then when you have to pour them back into your, when you're finished with that color, you can pour them back into your um, tray or use the funnel to pour them back into the bottle, I mean. So all these things came with this kit, and I think for, it was around $35 that you get all this stuff. And what's nice is it all fits in this pocket. Sorry, on the end of here. So that um, when you're gonna work on a painting, everything you need is all contained in this pocket. And oh, it also came with this edger guide thing. And the cool thing about this is, and I can't show you because I don't have a painting yet, but say you're working on your edge of your painting, you can put this down on, against the line so that as you place your diamonds, they get really straight. Or you can use it to prep, push against the edge of all the diamonds that you've placed to make sure you keep a straight line going. So that came with it too. This is just, I think it's just a phenomenal kit. Um, I really do. Because, you know, all of these items individually can cost, you know, $7 or $5 or whatever. And um, I've seen these little placer guides cost at least $5. So, and this all came with the kit. So I'm really happy about it. And besides the fact that it's in my favorite butterfly pattern. So really, really cool. Another uh, couple items I got, I did order one of these pens because I didn't, I ordered it before I knew there was gonna be one coming in this kit. Um, but it's it's a resin pen, I believe. It's, it's got a nice color and um, feel to it. Also, I've heard that if you get really into it, um, you can buy stainless steel tip that will, re you can replace these plastic end and brass end and they'll last forever so you don't wear out your pen tips. Okay, the next thing is that I've heard is this museum putty, which I happen to have bought last, last year at some point. At the, I bought this at the container store in Omaha. Um, this is good to put in your pen instead of the wax that comes with it. 
especially in the multi-placer end is what um, one of the YouTube um, people that I watch has recommended. Um, her channel, it's Katie from Diamonds and Washi. She has suggested and has a really good tutorial video on doing multi-placing. So I was excited that I already had this um, on hand and I didn't have to go find it in the store. All right, another thing that I ordered ahead of time was another one of these kind of cases for storage. And this is so that you can either, maybe you have a, a kit that has more than 60 beads in it, different colors, or maybe you have more than one kit going at one time, which probably will happen. Um, this you can, uh, comes with labels, but it has a variety of sizes. So it has um, one, two, three, four, well, 10, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24, 48. It has about 50 to 60 bottles, just like the ones I just had, those little round bottles in here. And it also has these containers that are what you would call tic, like Tic Tac containers. Now, this is much smaller than a Tic Tac container, but there are... Um, <clears throat> kits that you can buy that are just this to store your beads in and you just put the numbers on top um, but that looks a little difficult to get the beads into unless you're using the funnel so but that's another method of storage you could use these <clears throat> for long-term storage instead of the little baggies if you wanted to so that you could keep all your bags or your numbers in order and use the these uh, round ones for the ones you have more of a color of. But that's just another idea. But that that would hold probably, I believe there's probably 120 or more containers in here. So if you had a kit that was very large, you, you could use this um, to kit up as they call it. <clears throat> so, and then the other thing that I did get is called a light pad. And this is supposed to be very helpful so that you can see the colors underneath. You put this underneath your canvas when you're working on it, and it's LED, and it has an adjustable uh, light amount. You can have it dimmer or more bright. And there's this on and off switch here. But you, this is about the size of a, a little larger than a piece of paper. So you just put that under the section of canvas that you're working on and you just turn it on. It has to be plugged in. So here's the cord. It's got a USB cord, so you can use it, um, plug it into your computer, or somebody suggested uh, using a portable phone charger so that you don't have a bunch of cords dragging everywhere and you can just put that on there. But this is this will be really handy, um, especially when your eyes are kind of bad like mine. It'll help light up behind the canvas so that you can see the symbols better. So, and then I have, like I said, a lap desk coming, and this will fit on there. So I can just put that there and then put on my canvas and some clips I've ordered to hold the canvas on. But I will do another video of kitting it up when I get a kit, finally, um, and setting up the lap desk and all that because I do plan to sit in my recliner if I can for the most part to do my diamond painting um, anyway I'm just really super excited about this new hobby and wanted to share these things with you guys so that um, like me I guess it's been going on for two or three years but I have never heard of it until a few months ago when a friend was telling me about it and I just googled to see what what it was watched a couple YouTube videos and went I have to do this and ordered several kits <laughs> so um, I'll show you those kits when I get them but bye for now and if you like this video please click like and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day